We all know the Monk is one of the coolest and strongest classes in all of Baldur's Gate 3, and when you subclass the Monk as Way of the Open Hands, you get access to a plethora of unarmed attacks and have a variety of effects that can control the battlefield. When we pair this with the Thief subclass from the Rogue, we get an additional bonus action giving us the option to use more attacks as bonus actions with many, many attacks per turn. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play my god tier monk build. This is one of my most favorite builds in all of Baldur's Gate, simply because you get the power fantasy of being a monk. But first, I need to show you guys how it plays. And the build plays as you probably expect it. We start the fight off with either buffing ourselves with haste with our bow, or we have an ally buff us before or after the battle starts with haste. Upon taking any form of damage, usually from our own illicit ability that deals psychic damage to us, we get a bonus to necrotic damage and while attacking an enemy who have taken damage we get a bonus to attack rolls. If any attacker misses you, you can use your reaction with vestment of rejuvenation to counter attacks with unarmed attacks or even heal you whenever you save with a spell attack that's targeted towards you. We counteract any damage we take with ring of regeneration and with our legendary gloves we get even more healing on top of this. You basically have insane unarmed damage, tons of armor class depending on how you favor your character and so much sustain that really makes this build make you feel like a god. Here's how we're gonna build it. Alright over on our character's cheat we're gonna get monk and then in our abilities we're going to grab 16, 15, 8, 17, and 8. Obviously this number is going to be different if you're leveling you're gonna have like pretty normal numbers across the board but once you transition to end game you grab some of the end game items that I have then you're gonna want to build your character kind of like this to get yourself you know the best benefit out of your character and this is what I use. So for our level 2 we don't really get too much we just get um, our class features and stuff some extra benefits but nothing crazy here no real choices to be made. Over on our level 3 this is where you can select your subclass and you're going to get way of the open hands which is going to give you a bunch of fl uh, flurries of attacks that do different things. Check them out and read them because they all do really good good stuff. It's really nice monk how monk works. On our level four, we get our first feet, and here you want to get tavern brawler, uh, tavern brawler rather, and then we're gonna get one point into strength, which is really nice. Level five again, just your extra attack and some more key, really good. Upon hitting level six, you get more key, you get improved benefits, but most important, you get the subclass feature that gives you manifestation, mind, body, as well as soul, really good, and then you get a hill that you can use, really nice. At level seven, you grab some more additional key points and a few other benefits some evasions and stuff really nice at level eight you get your additional feet point and we're going to go with ability improvement one in strength one in wisdom and you get your two two which is really good even numbers at our level nine we get the additional advanced unarmored movement and our additional key point and this is where we stop with the monk from here on we go into our level two rogue and grabs you know level two and then the mo main thing we really want here is thief at level three which is going to be our subclass thief and uh, you get the extra bonus action which is really good for the build now before we begin on the gear one thing to keep in mind is we have no permanent bonuses on our character that is applied not a single one so whenever you're doing your playthrough you're very likely going to get extra strength extra charisma extra all these other things that i don't have as well as i'm not using a ring so you have a lot of extra power and as you can see with our uh, attack we're doing up to 72 damage with no buffs no nothing outside of the potion so really really powerful build and there's a lot of room for improvement for it. Anyway, onto the gear. We're going to be using the Horns of the Berserker on our helmet. What this does is give you plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. So any damage that you've done and you're attacking them, as long as they're not at full health, you're doing extra uh, bonus to attack rolls. Uh, also, you have unarmored and melee attacks will do extra to necrotic damage as long as you ha don't have full health. This is going to hurt you if you don't deal an attack, which is kind of nice, but um, that's going to be a bonus you may not be able to sustain at all times, but it's actually fairly easy because we do use a illicit power, which is called uh, psionic overload, and this is going to deal 
more psychic damage to you and it's going to give you more psychic damage obviously i can't like show this because i'm not in combat but you can use this to give yourself some extra damage for 10 turns while taking damage and i know that seems a little scary because you won't be able to sustain but you actually will because we have a ring of regeneration which will uh, counteract that if you get a little bit too low you're going to take damage from enemies attacking you it's just inevitable but um this is going to help you sustain in the event that you you know you do take a lot of damage on our back we're going to get the cloak of displacement this is going to give you uh, enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that whenever they attack you each turn so it's going to make you blurry hard to hit stuff like that on our chest we got the vest of soul regeneration and this is going to again give you the ability to regenerate uh, if they miss like if you get a save and throw against a spell but also the wearer can use a reaction to make an unarmed strike against attackers that miss plus two to armor and class as well alternatively if you want more offense i mean defense and you have like this you can get the hell dust armor is really good uh, that's up to you but just keep that in mind on our gloves we have the uh, gloves of soul catching this is like mandatory and one of the best there are a few things that lead up to it i don't know if i have them uh, there's a few other gloves that give you like added damage to unarmed attack you can use up to them I don't know them off the top of my head but you can use this and this can give you up to 10 points HP regen whenever you hit so you can actually use that to help you the waste it, the constitution waste it because you have the uh, amulet of greater health so that's unfortunate but yeah just keep that in mind but yeah just keep in mind you do lose a little bit of constitution benefit from this but the other stuff is so good it's worth the loss on our boots we have the boost of the uninhibited shoshogi i think it's called the wearer deals additional damage equal to their wisdom modifier with unarmed attacks and just to show you we have up to 72 34 to 72 and when we take this off let's put this on uh we have 26 to 64 that is a significant damage increase for just putting these boots on It's really nice again we have the ring of regeneration and then we have the amulet of greater health which is going to give you constitution set to three and that's going to give you the heal we talked about this but still on our ring there's a few rings that you can go with but i'm gonna put them on screen because i don't have them i'm gonna have to do another playthrough and but the ones we want to get is the first ring you're gonna possibly want to get is either the armor class ring called ring of protection it gives you plus one to armor class as well as saving throws another one that i personally like is called the ship shifting corpus rings and this is going to give you the blur illusion spell as well as the invisibility spell um, these are just good ways to like help you initiate and stuff and like be safe But yeah, that's a good way to do it Also one thing I didn't talk about um, if you want some extra defense and you want you're fine to give up a little bit of move speed You can equip the shield um, I have the Veronica's walking fortress. I use that whenever I'm, I'm playing which will give me 24 AC And then if you have one of those AC rings, you'll have like 25 AC and nothing will ever touch you but we don't have to go that extreme. You can just get the iron branded shield plus one. I think this is like an act one shield or something. And your 24 AC plus one will be like 25 plus all your other bonus stats. So really good options if you don't want it. I don't use it all the time because, you know, I just like to role play. But options for you. For our, our illithid, we have the favorable beginnings, which will give you attack rolls or ability checks you make against any enemy targets, gain a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus, so really good. We also have luck of the farm realms, this is going to give you the crit, really nice. And then of course we got the psionic overload, which is going to be damaging you to help you get that second bonus. If you're not healing like crazy, which you probably will. And then it'll give you um, the psionic damage or the psychic damage if you want to as well. All right, there you have it guys. That is my God tier monk build for Baldur's Gate 3. Again, as I said in the video, like this is a much weaker version of what it really could be. It does a lot of damage regardless, but it is a much weaker version than what it could be. There's so many things you can put on this class to really push it your bonuses um all the extra stuff the haste all those different buffs really puts the build to another level if you really want to push it that hard with that said uh yeah i really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video if you have any suggestions for any type of build you want to see on the channel leave them down in the comments below and i'll be getting to those as quickly as possible because i love boulder skate 3 hit the like as well as subscribe to the channel for more and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video very soon later guys